Hey everyone, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is another episode of Just the Keys. This is where we go through a whole series run and we point out the keys that are in that run. Today we're going to look out Mark Spector Moon Knight. This is a series that does get overlooked quite a bit and honestly, most of these books you can find in those dollar bins. As we did some research, we found quite a few books in this run that you might want to be aware of, so that's what we're going to focus on. If you're new to our channel, do us a favor, go ahead and subscribe right now, and also turn on that notification button because you don't want to miss the next video. Also, feel free to go back and check out some of our other Just the Keys videos, including ones on the Joker, X-Men, Wolverine, Punisher, just to name a few. Before we get started, let's do a little bit of a history lesson about this series, Mark Spector Moon Knight. This came out in June 1989 and ran for 60 issues and ended in March in 1994. The reason we are focusing on this series is because there is a ton of first appearances in this run and with the recent announcement that Moon Knight is going to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is a series you're going to want to get. Let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and see what we have. We're always going to start off with issue number one. So Mark Spector, Moon Knight number one, like I said, came out in 1989. This one is brought to you by Chuck Dixon, who is the writer, and art by Sal Voluto. This book is very cool, and it's very inexpensive. You can pick this one up for around $8, but do a little bit of digging, and you can get it for a lot cheaper than that. Three books up to number four, we have our first appearance. We have the first appearance of Midnight, a character that was originally a villain for Moon Knight and then became a partner for Moon Knight. And honestly, I don't know where the relationship stands right now. This one is a very inexpensive book. Like I said before, this one is around $3. Moon Knight Mark Spectre number six is next up on our list. We have another first appearance. We have the first appearance of Dr. Friday. And side note, he does die in issue number seven, so he doesn't stick around for very long. Another very inexpensive book. You can get this one for around $3. Two books up to number eight, we have a guest appearance by the Punisher and also a first appearance of Anarchy. Two really cool characters. Obviously, Punisher is one of my favorites. This one is also very inexpensive. You can find this one for around $3. Moving up just two books once again, Moon Knight Mark Spector. We have another first appearance. This is the first appearance of the Ringer, otherwise known as Keith Craft. Another one of those characters with the same letters for the first and last name. That's kind of a thing for Marvel. This one is very inexpensive as well, around $3. Just one book up to number 11. We have two first appearances in this one. We have the first appearance of Arsenal and also the first appearance of Strike. These two characters, also not very familiar with them, but they're in there and it is their first appearance. Very inexpensive book, around $3. Moving about eight books up the list, we have number 19. We have another first appearance. This is the first appearance of number one and also the first appearance of number three. Apparently number two didn't make it. Side note on this one, this is a Rob Liefeld cover and come on, that's one of my favorites. It features the Punisher and Spider-Man. Very inexpensive book. You can get this one also for around $3. Moving just three more books up on the list to number 22, another first appearance. This is the first appearance of Chainsaw. Like I've said before, a lot of these characters are very minor, but you never know what can happen. This one is also very inexpensive. It's only around $3. Moving up just a few issues to number 25, this is the opposite of a first appearance. This is a death. This is the death of a character called Plasma, another one I'm not tremendously familiar with. Sorry to hear you didn't make it, maybe next time. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my friend Bob. He's going to take it from here. So Bob, what do you have? Thanks, Bueller. I'll take it from here. Next issue is number 26, and this is the first of the Bill Sienkiewicz covers. You can get this book for about $3. Next, we got issue number 38, and this is the first appearance of the Shadow Cabinet. That's a Moon Knight team. That issue you can still get for about $4. Next is issue number 39, and this has a further appearance of the Shadow Cabinet, and you got members including Don G, Penny Annie, and Stash. This book you can get for about $3. Then we have issue number 40, also an appearance by the Shadow Cabinet, and we have even more members inside of this issue making first appearances. We have Cover Girl, Fingers, and Scout, and you can get this book for about $3 still. Next up, we have issue 43, and we have even more appearances by the Shadow Cabinet. Characters that make their first appearance are Mercy and Shark, and you can get this book for about $3. Then we have the infamous number 50. 
Inside of this book, Moon Knight leaves the Avengers, and you can get this book for about $3. You could probably still get it in your dollar bins. Now we have issue number 53, and this has the first appearance of the group Hellbent. All kinds of characters make their first appearance in this book, including Nash, Fissure, Lowdown, Tailspin, Triplex, TKO, and you can get this book for also about $3. Then we have issue number 55, which is the first cover by Stephen Platt. This book is a little more expensive. You can still get it for about $25. Then we have a fan favorite, number issue 57. This book has a guest appearance by Spider-Man. You know we all love that. And it has the first appearance of the character Dusk. This book runs for about $50. Next up, we have issue number 58. We got the first appearance of Goddess and all of her counterparts. There's like 20 characters inside of there. I'll let you figure that out but you can get this book for about $8. And then we have issue number 60, the infamous issue 60. This is where you have the death of Mark Spector and it's the final issue in the series. You can get this book still for about $15. So that's all the books in the run. I'll hand it back over Thanks, to you. Thanks Bob from Everything Comics. You just made my job quite a bit easier. So there you go guys. Those are all the key comics for the Mark Spector I run, that. issue one through 60 a little over 20 books, and a lot of the ones you probably weren't aware of. Let me know what you thought about this series. We're going to be doing more very soon, and hopefully Bob will also come and make another visit. All right, guys, appreciate your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what to do. We'll see you next time. Bye.